This is the worst power stroke turbo I've ever seen from a 7.3. Usually to check them to see if they're bad, you check to see if they have in and out or side to side play. But this one's beyond ridiculous. It may need a whole cartridge. And here's the turbo taken apart. You can put the rear seal in to check the gap. And it's way too big, so we can't reuse the bearing housing. Uh, this is the in and out play that we saw before. It's like eaten in half. The thrust bearing is garbage. <laughs> uh, the cause of the failure is metal flake. That stopped up the thrust bearing, then it wasn't getting oil pressure to it, so it overheated and caused it to wear out. You'll notice that it's also leaking exhaust here, and that is actually caused by the up pipes. It's a real common issue where these up pipes don't seal properly at the, I think they call it like a Y flange or something like that, where it connects and goes into one. So that's a common problem with the power stroke. So I'll go ahead and link to the rebuild kit for this. However, I'm going to make a video on the upgraded compressor housing and wheel for this also. For this turbo, uh, we do sell this rebuild kit. I still need to make a video on this rebuild. So I'll do that in a different video, a tutorial on how to install this. Uh, also, we're going to use our compressor plate and upgrade compressor wheel and compressor housing for this turbo. This is a 67 by 88 compressor wheel. It's the same measurement as a GT4088. Uh, so that's going to be the upgrade for this. We're also going to use a larger shaft. The larger shaft is 69 millimeter instead of the 67. The 67 millimeter shaft will work perfectly fine with this too. But for this uh, turbo, we're going to go with the largest shaft we can go with and the largest compressor wheel. I'll link to all these parts in the description box and also be keeping a lookout for my video on this turbo rebuild for this turbo. This compressor housing and wheel package works for the uh, GTP 3897 to 99. If you try to put it on the 94 to 97, you do have to cut the actuator rod that mounts here to resize it. However, I mean, hopefully I can get some actuators that would make it a direct fit, but I currently don't have that. So this is what we have for the upgrade and stay tuned for the turbo rebuild tutorial video where I'll go through and show you how to rebuild this turbo.